One of my favorite go-to passages of scripture to pray with is from Ezekiel 37. This one's for those of you at the end of your rope today. It's the valley of the dry bones. And what I love about it is Ezekiel's brought to this place where the Lord in a vision is saying to him, like, see and look around you. And it's, it's, there's bones everywhere. It's a full valley of these dry bones, right? And they've been sitting there a long time. That's why they're dry. They're very dead. <laughs> they're as dead as they can be. And the Lord asks him these questions, like, can these bones come to life again? And he responds, you, O Lord, no. You alone know. And I love this imagery that comes because the Lord tells him to prophesy to the bones. And so they, they start to rattle and form back together. And then, you know, there's muscle fibers and all this stuff, skin coming back on them. All of a sudden, they're back to life. And it's kind of become an old friend in scripture to pray with because sometimes I hit that point where I'm at the end of my rope and I'm just like, man, I, I don't feel like I have any more to give. Man, I'm just really worn out. And it's been a really long week, long month, long year, long life. <laughs> Lord, I need something. And so I go back to that point and, and I remember, this is what I remember as I pray, that the Lord desires that for me. So at that point where I'm at my most exhausted, at my most worn out, my most tired, my most broken, that's the place where the Lord desires to enter in and restore me. He desires to restore you too. The Lord desires rest for you. You know, Jesus would then say later, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And yet, for whatever reason, I sometimes find myself, and maybe you do too, trying to make the burden just a little bit heavier. <laughs> like, no, I have to carry more. No, I have to do more than that. But the Lord desires for us to rest and to be restored. I'm reminded too of um, this story of a, a formator at the seminary speaking to the seminarians and saying, you know, you're not really free to stay unless you're free to leave. You're not really free to stay unless you're free to leave. I found this to be very true, both sure in working with seminarians and also teenagers and parishioners of all kinds, but especially for myself. If you're not free to leave, you're not free to stay. And maybe on the contrary too, if you're not free to stay, you're not free to leave, right? That freedom has to go both ways. Freedom exists to give us the ability to choose what the Lord is leading us into. That's what our freedom is for, to choose what the Lord wills and desires for my life. He desires to give you rest, to restore you. He desires for you to live in freedom. Don't go looking for extra baggage, extra burdens. And those ones that you do have necessarily, just lay them down at his feet. Say, Lord, I'm here. Lord, I'm with you. Lord, I give you the permission to love me. Let's make a point to do that today, to give the Lord permission to enter into the busyness of our lives, to those places where maybe we're feeling like we're at the end of our rope, and to say, I'm here to restore you. These dry bones will live again. I love you. You're my beloved son, my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased. God bless you.